Hey, y'all, so either Daryl Morey really didn't like Clint Capella, they was like clashing with each other or something like that, or Daryl Morey really don't know what he's doing. Because I don't understand the trade, trade in Clint Capella. I don't understand it. I don't understand it at all. It don't make no sense to me. Like, it's not going to make the Houston Rockets better, in my opinion. For one, I don't, like, why would you trade your 6'10", shot-blocking, high-rebounding rim protector? Like, why, why would you do that? He's 25 years old. Why would you get rid of him? Because at this point, who, who is going to do your rebounding now? Clint Capella's averaging, I'm rounding up, 14 and 14, 14 points, 14 rebounds. Who do you, who do you expect to rebound? Who, who do you expect to get all your rebounds now? P.J. Tucker? P.J.? No disrespect to P.J. Tucker. P.J. Tucker is six foot five. He's six five. Who can he defend in the paint? What big can he really defend? They gonna kill P.J. down low. Like I don't, like, I, and I don't care how strong and how aggressive he is on defense. He is too small. Anthony Davis, JaVale McGee, Dwight Howard can shoot right over the top of him. Rudy Gobert the same way. Um, Hassan Whiteside, all these different bigs. Uh, Nikola Jokic. Who? How, how is P.J. going to deal with them? He's not big enough. He, he can't alter their shots on the other end. Like, he just can't. He can't do anything. And it's not like he makes up for it that much offensively. He doesn't. And by the time, by the time he's going to be so tired of exerting all of that energy, guarding the other team's bigs, he's not going to be able to hit that occasional corner three. He's not going to be able to do that no more. Like, I don't, it doesn't make sense to me. And I'm sitting here thinking, like, are they trying to replicate what they think Golden State did? Because at the end of the day, still, Golden State still had this, set, uh, what, seven-foot monster KD, Kevin Durant. Like, I don't, it don't matter. And I, no disrespect to Robert Covington, because that's who the Houston Rockets is getting in return. Robert Covington is a really good perimeter defender, plays great defense. He's a 3 and D guy. But you're going to need somebody to get them rebounds. Like, I don't care what nobody say. Like, Especially like and it messes up their um their lob game that they got. Cause when James Harden is going to the rim, as soon as he's going to the cup, everybody knows he's looking to score now. He ain't got nobody. He can he, he just gonna lob it up to now. It's not happening. To me, they become more predictable and easier to beat. Now, I would like to see what other people think and um, you know, what strategies do you think like they could do with this lineup? Like what how would this work for the team? How could this work for the betterment of the team? But I don't see it. I really don't. You you took a guy, to, and PJ is, what, 34 years old? PJ's getting up there. Capella, 25. And I think they, they just gave Capella a big deal. Like, what was that, last year? Season before last or something like that? Like, I don't understand. I really don't. You're going to need Clint Capella tremendously. And at this point, I think Daryl Morey just be bored. I really think he just be bored. Like, he just be like, damn, what can I do? To put us in some headlines, what could I do to get the league talking about us? I'm just going to trade Mars. I don't know. I'm going to throw a dart at the board and whoever they land on getting traded except James Harden. I don't, it seemed like that. It, like He always looking to try to make a big move. Like He panics. And I don't know like what is going on. Like He just panics. And what's the dude, the owner? Fertitta? I know he ain't playing or something because Daryl Morey and them, like, they just trying to make anything happen. But... It's like, fam, he, Daryl Morey out there just throwing anything at the wall and whatever sticks, stick. I don't I don't get that at all. Like, I, it doesn't make sense, and I don't know how this is going to help the Houston Rockets roster. Um, Yeah, man, like, come on, man. Who PJ, PJ, and, and Aaron Gordon finna be, I mean, uh, Eric Gordon finna be playing in the post. He finna be, the, they finna be the bigs, bro. Like, what is how is this going to work? Robert Covington can't, he not going to bang low with them big dudes down there. Come on, man. I don't care how frail y'all think AD is. AD will kill him and will kill uh, PJ Tucker. And it's crazy. If they do all of this and they mess around and meet up with <laughs> Oklahoma City Thunder in the playoffs and Chris Paul and Shea Gilgis Alexander get them up out of there, oh, my God. That's going to be something to talk about. Like, man, because ain't nobody expected Oklahoma City Thunder to be playing as well as they playing. Nobody expected that. Like, at all. And they out there balling. And if I swear, if they beat them, if they beat um, the Houston Rockets and they meet them and they beat them, it's going to be like, fam, see, he don't know what he's doing. Daryl Morey just don't know what he got going on. And truthfully, if they lose in, like, the second round, 
Like people, people are gone. People are gone, fam. Like it's it's getting shaken up. Like truthfully, I told y'all, like um, as much as you know, Mike D'Antoni makes the Houston Rockets. He thinks you know, as much as he is this offensive guru, and you know, he had all of this, he, all this offensive prowess, and and he he lets players play untamed and unleashed. He don't preach enough defense for them to win, and they did not just they did not get better defensively with this. With this move, help me understand because I don't see it helping helping them at all. Not at all. Like, come on, man. Nah, brother. Like, I, I, and, and I, hopefully I could be wrong. Hopefully they prove me wrong and I see and I don't see something that they see, but it don't make no sense. It, it don't make no sense. And, and I can't see a situation where a scenario where this plays out for the betterment of the teams. I really don't. Um, yeah, man. And then I, <laughs> one thing I just was laughing at too. I saw my man Nene got included in the trade deal. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't even know Nene was still in the league, man. I really did not know my man's in the league still. Like, I don't, didn't have, has Nene played all year? I think he's been injured all year. My man 37, I didn't even know he was in the league. I'm like, my man Nene, that was, that was, <laughs> that's what's going on, fella. Like, nah, man. Um, but yeah, he got included in the deal. So I don't know. However, I don't know. This this is not gonna work to me. I don't know. Whatever, Daryl. Like, I really think Daryl Moore just be bored, and he wanna if his team ain't making enough headlines, he willing to just do something to get everybody talking and do mix something up just to just to say, hey, I tried. I tried to do something before I left. And again, this is no slight to Robert Covington. He's a great perimeter defender, and he's a 3 and D guy. I like him. It's just not going to make up for losing Clint Capella. It's not, man. A man is a shot blocker, rim protector. Like, come on, man. Like, what? what what's going well, I don't know what to make of this, fam. I really don't. But I don't know. Uh, we'll see how the, how the Houston Rockets uh, look going forward. I'm sorry. I told y'all preseason. I didn't think. I thought they would be exciting to watch. They would be fun to watch with James Harden. And uh, Russell Westbrook, Russell Westbrook, but I told y'all, they wasn't on a crumb. I don't think this team is on a crumb. They not on a crumb. They ain't going to do a crumb, but they ain't, they ain't on nothing, especially right now. But that's just my opinion. What do I know? I'm not in the league. Machiavelli Mills TV, thank y'all for watching. Peace.